and welcome back to my channel. I am happy to be here in video numero dos. Today we're going to be doing a really fun video. It's going to be a pack with me, but the main event is going to be unpack with me when we get to England. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the clips that I'm doing of how I'm going to pack things, but also mainly show you more when I actually get there and what I actually packed and how I packed it. We're going to England. We're going to be there for quite a while, like over six weeks. I'm going to be in four different countries in the next month, which is crazy. We have a secret Valentine's Day trip that my husband got me for Christmas. We were supposed to go to Amsterdam and then Amsterdam had some restrictions so now it's just a secret location if you know me you know I love surprises so I'm like surprise me so I had to think about casual outfits workout outfits also my nails gonna get done tonight <laughs> the good thing about how I style my clothes now is that everything kind of matches so I could probably go in there and pull out 20 things and they would all match whereas before I would be packing and I'd be like how is this gonna look with this outfit? There's no way that this will match. Like, oh my god, would I put this top? But then if I bring it, it's an extra thing and it might not match this thing and yada yada. So now it's really easy to pack because everything kind of goes together. I'll just maybe show you a couple clips of me packing tonight. But really, the main event is going to be unpacking with me. To pack, I really am just trying to keep it basic, trying to keep it simple, easy, and just knowing that everything matches is so helpful if you're not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button it's easy it's free it's fun and it helps you grow up so i appreciate it i got these new packing cubes from amazon and i have never used packing cubes before but if i'm gonna be traveling like this i'm gonna need like the actual equipment so let's see what they're like i got even like what came in them but it was like a big pack for like barely $20 or $25 maybe on Amazon. I did my nails. So I think this one was like the, maybe the dirty laundry bag. Then we have inside, I think this was a shoe organizer, I'm pretty sure. This is like a little makeup or whatever I guess bag, toiletry bag. Cute vibes. This is... Another, or this might be the makeup bag, I'm not sure. So it's just like another little zip bag. Another, I think this is one of the typical ones where you put clothes. So I think this is like a, the small size. Here's another clear little zip bag. This is actually like very handy. And it's got some mesh material here. These are the actual packing cubes, okay. And I just love the color, they're nude. I also saw black ones that were a little bit cheaper, but I feel like with black, like I won't be able to see everything that's in there, whereas in these, like I can see um, a little bit better. I don't know, maybe that was just dramatic, but I mean, there's only a couple dollar difference. Yeah, I think it's like a nine piece set. All right, we're ready with the luggage, and we're gonna start off, I think, with just the basic stuff the leggings, the pajamas, the chill clothes, and then move on from there to the more cute stuff, and then finally shoes. So. We'll see this when it's all filled up. Okay, so here we are. We have two packing cubes in. What the heck was I doing not using packing cubes before? Because, oh my god. If you can tell, it saves so much space and it just looks so organized. And honestly, there's probably... I should have counted how many things fit in there. When we do an unpack with me, I will count how many are in there. And these are all pants and bottoms. These are all tops and tank tops. Like, and I still have all this room. It's crazy. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Love it. Here's the other side. Some more little packing cubes. I know I'm bringing those heels out. <laughs> the cold, but just in case, you never know. Night out, you know? But I'm gonna go to bed now, and um, I'll see you guys in the morning. We're at the airport. We got the fit. We got the goods. And yeah, I'm just trying to find some food. So wish me luck. Vegan food in the airport. You guys covered face mask mandate is still in effect. We are required to follow all federal face mask guidelines. Thank you, welcome aboard. Just landed in Heathrow and about to go get my bag.
know if you can hear me, but we just took the hour train down here and now we are arriving in downtown London, right? <laughs> well, kind of, but I'll show you guys. It is so cold in this train station. It's freezing because we're underground, I guess. We are just walking to the platform and I'm hungry. I was on the train and I dropped my sandwich that I bought and I was so sad. I literally took one bite and then it fell on the floor of the train. So I am absolutely starving. I think our plan when we get there is to go meet some people at this bar that they're at and I'm exhausted but I'll be a champ and go through with it and then I have to start work because I'm working Eastern time so I start at 2 p.m. It's gonna be like 1 p.m. when we take the train. So I'll get home right on time to start working. We just made it to England to the city where Dom's family lives and I'm not going to unpack yet because I'm so tired. I'm going to go take a quick shower and then I have to get back to work. I have my luggage here and I will show you guys me unpacking it, how I packed it, what I'm packing. Also, I figured out where the secret location is, so I will let you know what my plans are for that as well. I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast. I am eating a peanut butter on toast with banana and I made myself a little coffee. I am currently working. So yeah, it's a very productive afternoon. I'm chilling in my loungewear and I'm gonna do some work until 10 p.m. Actually, tomorrow I'm probably gonna show you guys me packing and unpacking. I have been suffering with horrible jet lag. I normally do not get jet lag and I have been going to bed at like 5.30 or 6. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I posted that it was like 4.50 or something and I was still awake and I couldn't go to bed. I ended up going to bed at like 6 a.m. last night and woke up at 9.30, 10 because I wanted to go to the mall and get some last minute things for my trip. I barely slept um, until I woke up at 10. So barely got enough hours in last night. I was still just tossing and turning and it was a whole thing. So I normally don't suffer with um, jet lag, but for some reason this time around, we have been. We went to the mall, I got a couple things that I'm really excited about, I'll show you guys. I just felt like I was missing a couple pieces that just like were gonna make my outfits, you know? Especially because I now know where I'm going <laughs> for my secret Valentine's Day trip. It was supposed to be a surprise. My husband picked me up with like 10 of the, like the soccer lads that went out to a game and one of the friends looked at me and was like, hey Jess, so are you going to blank on Sunday or Saturday? And I was like, uh, I think you just told me my secret Valentine's Day gift location. <laughs> and everyone's like, are you serious? Like, why would you say that? But he's like, I didn't know. And I was like, whatever, it's fine. Like, I love surprises, but I'm kind of glad that I know where we're going because now I can really up my game with fashion because we're going to Milan. I'm like, I can't. I would have never guessed Milan. I don't even know what I was guessing, but it was not gonna be Milan. And obviously Milan is like huge in fashion and I just wanna be like on my A game with my fashion. So I'm kind of glad he told me in a way. I'm so excited. My first time in Italy. We're there for the whole weekend. Well, technically Sunday to Wednesday. Now I'm just going to unpack with you guys from my trip from San Diego to England and show you guys just kind of what I brought to England slash to everywhere else I'm going because I told you guys I'm going to like four different country well three different ones aside from England in the time that I'm here so I'll show you guys kind of like what I brought how the heck you pack for like six weeks abroad <laughs> my suitcase I have the packing cubes and just kind of gonna show you how I pack them what's in them and then I'm just going to unpack them and put it away and then repack for my secret trip to Milan we're getting comfortable by the way on the bed because I am so tired I barely had any sleep last night so and it's been two days and I haven't unpacked yet I had never used packing cubes before but obviously I saw a lot of them on TikTok and just people using them on YouTube and saying that it was really helpful for packing and 
I was like, why not give it a try? Everyone says they absolutely love them and a lot of the comments say it's like a game changer. So I'm like, let's try it out and see what it's all about. And oh my God, I don't know what I did before packing cubes. Honestly, this made my life so much easier. And I thought that I was gonna be way overweight because I felt like I packed so many things into these cubes. And actually I was only one pound overweight. I had to just take one thing out and put it in my other luggage. So honestly, I was shocked because I felt like I fit so much in here. Let's start with this big boy. <laughs> So this is the biggest packing cube that came in the set and I'll also link the set down below so you guys can check it out. I really liked it. The only thing is I would love for another big one to be like this but I don't think it would actually fit. I'll explain to you why in a second. I decided to put all my bottoms in here. So I have all my pants, skirts, and everything like that. Well, actually first let me show you guys I guess how the luggage looked. Basically I had like just packing cube, packing cube, a couple of jackets which is why I mentioned I wanted a another large one of these because or maybe like two more mini uh, medium ones because my jackets like my blazers and things like that didn't really fit in a packing cube because I didn't have another one so they're just kind of rolled around which honestly is fine I didn't mind so it's kind of just rolled you guys can see it kind of looks like that just like rolled jackets and big sweaters and things like that and then a medium packing cube and then this packing cube actually was in my carry-on luggage which is just like a little iFly luggage um, just like a typical carry-on bag so that one was in here along with my black Zara lapel coat, this bad boy. Um, and yeah, it was just like on top of each other like this, and then my tripod, which you guys are on right now, and then my other handheld tripod was also in that bag. That little bag fit a lot. If we open up this one, oh, and then I'm a little scattered. Then I brought my gel, <laughs> my gel lamp that I just bought on Amazon because I try to do my own nails now versus going into the salon and getting um, gel because I just haven't had time. I brought it with my um, gel nail polish that's here. And that was just in here. What is in here? Oh, some of my sunglasses. I just kind of threw them in here, which I will definitely need for Milan. You can kind of see is definitely where more of the packing cubes were used. This one is a small packing cube, it's so cute. So in here is all my workout stuff and sports bras and um, bathing suits because there's a sauna here um, at my husband's dad's gym's, or my husband's dad's house it has a gym with a sauna so I have my bikinis in there. And so Then I have these two little cute bags from my friend's bikini line that she gives you when you order her bikinis and I have socks in this one. Up. My husband's watching me through the big window. And then I have socks in this one, and then I have all my underwear and a couple more socks in this one and bralettes. So honestly, these were actually very nice. They were obviously not part of the packing cube set, but they worked out really nice. Then this one is another little packing cube. This one doesn't have the mesh on the outside, but um, I just put in here some hats, my two hats, a little tote bag, some bras and bralettes in there. So just kind of like miscellaneous. And then I have, <laughs> this is the laundry bag supposedly, but I put one shoe in there, don't ask. And the other shoe's right here. It just kind of like went laid in there, you can kind of see in the corner. And then I have these heels, which I have no idea where I will ever wear these, but I was like, maybe if I am not going outside walking, I will wear these somewhere. This one's nice because I can use it for my dirty laundry on my trips. So that's kind of the tour of the luggage. And then I also, <laughs> I also had this bag that I just bought at TJ Maxx, only $29. I thought it was very cute and go with my outfits. And also I can bring my camera along since I want to start doing more vlogs and any water, um, sunglasses, you know, all the good stuff can go in here while I'm traveling around. Granted, it's probably not the best for traveling because it opens from the front, but I was gonna get one that opened from the back, but it was not as cute, so. Gotta be cute over being safe. I'm just kidding, definitely not. What I traveled with was this coat from H&M, which I absolutely love this coat. It's like, just like a top coat type thing. Pretty much that is the tour of the actual suitcase. Let's just count how many pairs of bottoms I brought in here, okay? Well, I have my little skirt. Obviously I'm gonna wear tights with it because it's cold outside. I have another leather skirt. 
which this one is from Zara. Yes, it looks a little weird there, but it's very cute and it's a tight mini skirt. This one was from Amazon, actually. Amazon, I bought it for Halloween and then it actually just started looking cute with some of my outfits. I have these Zara leather pants. They look like this and the bottoms look like that. They're kind of like a dupe for the Molina or the Abercrombie ones, but they're a little bit more flare at the bottom, which I prefer sometimes like with leather skinnier vibes, but this honestly looks kind of cute. And I added this belt because it's a little big on the top. I feel like Zara sizing is very weird. If you guys, the girls that get it, get it. I feel like I'm always a size up in Zara. So I brought that belt because I can tie it from the back. So you can't see anything in the front. It just ties it in the back so that the waist um, fits. It's like when you have big legs and no waist. Then I have my favorite tan pants from Zara. These are like literally the cutest pants. They look like this. These are a little bit more skinny. They're more up my alley of how I like them. Another skirt. I love this skirt, especially in the summer. This is from Garage. It has like a really nice waistband. I love it. We have these pants from Cotton On. So they're just these white jeans. Um, not like they're like mom style, I guess. Well, straight leg actually, straight leg. Love cotton on. Sometimes their jeans can stretch a little bit, but I love cotton on for like tops and like jackets and sweatpants are really good. The last pair of non jean pants, this one from H&M, it's like another like business type of pants, but it's really cute. It has like an elastic waistband, which is really nice. And it just looks like this. And the bottoms are a little bit more um, straight leg. I love this one for like more fancy, but you can make it casual with your Air Forces or whatnot. And then my jeans. The only jeans that I wear now are from Abercrombie. So these are the 90s straight ultra high rise. And these are the ones with like the, um, what's it called? It's like lowered. So it like really accentuates it. And they are like this. So they're really cute. I'm very comfortable and then I have my like more casual like everyday jeans which are the mom high-rise from Abercrombie they look like this and they are again straight leggy but not too much like they're not flare or anything but these are definitely like my everyday like very stretchy the other two I can like kind of dress up a lot and these ones again are from Abercrombie and they are the 90s straight ultra high-rise also but they don't have the waistbands like that but they do have a little flare going on right here so it's really cute when i wear it with like heels and stuff it like peeks out i really like these those are all the bottoms that i brought besides um some leggings which are in the wash right now and these sweatpants that i'm wearing from where are these from h&m and then my pants are lululemon and then i have some workout pants in that other um packing cube I showed you guys. Look at this pile that that packing cube fit. It's crazy. So one, two, ten. So that fit ten bottoms. That one little cube fit ten bottoms for options. So that's actually really nice and it's just crazy because my jeans are thick too and it, like, I mean it was just the large cube but it still fit a really good amount. Moving on to the next packing cube, we'll go to the medium one. This one I decided to put basically all of my tops and tank tops in. Fit a lot in. It's um, definitely worth it getting these cubes and they were not expensive at all. They were only like 20 25 dollars on Amazon. I'll put the link down below to them like I said. We have this little tank from Cotton on, which is, oh, it's a bodysuit, which is kind of new. So I brought that. You can wear it under blazers. You can wear it under anything, really. It's um, definitely not that warm for a tank top, obviously. But all these tanks that I brought are really to be like layering pieces. And then I brought this bodysuit, which is a little bit more like lacy and cute for like a night out or something. I've had this one forever from Forever 21. Forever from Forever 21. And then we have this lovely other bodysuit which is more of like a high neck and this one's from Zara and then we have this other bodysuit it is just a black turtleneck sweater from H&M this one's really good also for layering obviously if you want to like still look cute you can even add another thing under that if you're extra cold which I'm always cold and then I have this white 
shirt that is where even is this from oh from forever 21 that you can wear a bandeau under and it's just like casual with jeans and like this jacket on top like could look cute same thing with this one this is a bodysuit i like love my bodysuits from i think forever 21 the tag's gone but i'm pretty sure i got this from forever 21 and it's like a really nice sweater nude cute material and normally i like to wear this with like sweatpants so i like, can imagine it with like these sweats and or jeans and it's just like very warm also then we have this shirt from Zara we have this tank which is definitely more on the warmer side and again it does not it's not that hot here but I brought this little tank she's so cute and very thin but soft and she's from garage this one again too if I know we're not gonna be walking around a lot but I just want to wear like a blazer or like something on top of that um, it'll still look cute. Then this little black tank, you can never go wrong with a black tank from Zara. We got the same bodysuit as the black high top from Zara, or like high neck top, but in white. It's very wrinkly. <laughs> I love these because they're like that spandex material, like almost like the skims material. This shirt I have not worn yet. I literally take it with me everywhere and I just never wear it because I feel like it's a little bit like scandalous in the center you know but it's very cute you can wear it with like a skirt with something over it or something but it does show a little bit open right here but this is from garage and it's very nice thick material this is like one of my go-to shirts like if i was wearing these sweats i'd probably wear this shirt with it um if i wasn't wearing this jacket it's from garage it's just like a very cute you know that type of um vibe that's been in with um it's called like the stitching on the outside it's just a turtleneck sweater from H&M we have this shirt that my sisters got me for Christmas and it's like a cross like a crisscross very nice material reminds me of Lululemon material but it's honestly from Fashion Nova and it has this like tie in the back we're almost done guys we have this shirt you can't tell that much from like the detailing right here I don't think but it has like a very low neckline and the shoulders kind of like go all the way out and it's like a scoop neck it's really cute. This is another bodysuit from Zara. Just a plain black low neck bodysuit. That's really cute. And then this is just like a shirt from H&M. It's like this type of material, like ribbed I think it's called. And it's just nice to put under stuff. Like you can put under here and like layer it on. I like to wear it with like jeans and a blazer. The last item is just a long sleeve black shirt. And it's like a thick nice material, but it's just like a shirt you can layer on underneath stuff or you know it's just like a good thing to have it's just a basic black piece and this tiny packing cube you guys see it's like the size of like four hands inside inside that was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven in 18 that little cube fit 18 shirts as you can kind of see a lot of my pieces are very uh, neutral. I don't even think there's actually any other color besides white, black, or brown that we've shown you, besides the jeans. My fashion has really evolved and actually my sister's best friend is a virtual stylist and she really helped me. I already knew what vibes like I wanted and she just helps you basically know how to shop for it and actually make it come to life. So she's amazing, I'll drop her link down below, but she's really helped me. I met with her like months ago, I think it was November or August or something like that. These people are staring at me <laughs> through the window. She just helps you uh, figure out your style and how to shop for that style. And one of her big things too is like a, I don't know what the name is, but like timeless pieces almost. That like anything I can grab can match anything I grab for my bottoms. I already loved a neutral palette, but sometimes felt like it was hard for me to shop in a way that made everything match. Like I would feel like I would buy something and it'd be like okay what do I what does it go with or how do I wear it if you're interested in kind of like a time capsule that's the word time capsule closet um, definitely reach out to her or do your own research or let me know if you have any questions because I've definitely learned a lot from her but also taught myself a lot through just like watching videos or on TikTok and just finding what I like and then thinking like okay what else would this match like you know so it's really helpful I love sweatpants. I brought these ones from H&M. They're like a more nude color. And then I brought these brown ones that are from Primark, which is a store here in the UK I bought last year when I was here. And they're just very cute. Like, see how everything can match. I have this rolled in there, which is my Motivated AF 
sweatshirt from Miss Lola that I absolutely love and I always wear. It's so cozy, you just throw it on and I love Miss Lola. This is my Zara oversized black blazer. You can do so many looks with it. And then I have here a oversized like sweater dress type thing. You can wear like that block black long sleeve with that black skirt or black leather leggings or you know anything really tights even yeah I love it it's very thick too and warm this is a another blazer that I got for Christmas from Miss Lola I wear this with like that white short sleeve t-shirt I was telling you guys about and like jeans with like even like these heels it looks so cute and classy love that I love all my blazers Here's another blazer. This is my leather blazer, which is a very thin, it's almost like a leather, yeah, it is a blazer, but it's like a leather, it's thinner than a blazer. And this is from Pretty Little Thing. Here is my other blazer. I think it's the same one as in the black, but in this adorable olive color. It's oversized. It's the one I wore on Christmas. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I posted a TikTok in it. And then for lounging, I have this sweater that my sister got me. I just like throw over and it's like kind of oversized and it's super cozy. So if I'm wearing like this tank with these pants, I'll throw this over it and just like for work from home or chilling or whatnot. Then this is another packing cube. Let me like close this window because people are starting to stare. Found my other Nike sandal when I was closing the windows. So here are my Nike sandals that I brought just if I'm like walking outside in the garden or whatnot. And then I have my fuzzy slippers that I got for Christmas. The ones that are like in, you know, these ones. So I have these for like indoor shoes and these for outdoor. And that is this whole side of the luggage. Moving on to the next side. I already showed you guys the shoes. I'm not gonna walk through all my workout clothes and like bathing suits and stuff. It's just boring leggings and like sports bras. I already showed you guys in here, I have like my hats. I only brought two hats on this trip. This one is my Motivated AF hat that I just got. I finally got something else that says Motivated AF besides the sweatshirt that I always wear. So yeah, it's really cute. And then I also just got this hat from Cotton On, which I'm super excited. Obviously it doesn't really go with this outfit because it's already a lot going on, but I'd wear it with a more neutral palette outfit. What I liked about this one is that it's like green. These shoes I bought at this like store in this mall near me, but they're very chunky and cute and I love them. And then of course I showed you my shoes already and these are from Forever 21. I'm telling you Forever 21 pulls through sometimes. A lot of the time I've had these for so long. I am making a mess in here. So this is my travel carry-on case that I take with me and it's from iFly. I love it. It's like the rose gold color and it just looks like this on the inside. Very cute. In this one I already told you guys I had the big packing cube with the pants and a jacket and a pair of shoes. But on top of this one I always carry my base weekender bag. This is the mini convertible weekender bag. I actually can strap onto the back of this. So there's like a little pocket here that goes over this and so you don't have to ever worry about it falling off or anything. I absolutely love base and that brand, Shea Mitchell really thought of like absolutely everything when it comes to a bag. Maybe one day I'll do a whole in-depth video on this bag because I travel with it everywhere. I one time fit a whole week of outfits to go to Mexico in this bag and makeup and hair stuff and everything. So in this bag I have like my iPad, my MacBook, um, my camera that you guys are on, and then I have my makeup brushes, which I've had this case for forever and most of these makeup brushes forever. I take very good care of my makeup brushes, but I have that in here. Two pairs of sunglasses, of course, a key. I love key. They actually recently gifted me these, so I have not worn them yet, but I'm excited to try them. I have my hairbrush. Of course the wet brush in pink and then this is also part of the packing cube set which is really cute it just says like travel it's a little zipper one with like a bunch of stuff inside and I use this one for all my electronic stuff my cords chargers and then it also came with this other little like bag and it's so cute it says wish you have a colorful life so it's kind of cute and here I have my deodorant I had a little mirror that I found out of my sister's makeup and then my makeup palette that Jackie also gave me. Um, it has like bronzers and all eyeshadows, so it's like an all-in-one, and I love that. And then we have my makeup bag, and I know this is actually kind of small for a makeup bag, but 
I used to have it in another bag and when I saw packing cubes came with this one, I loved it because it's clear, it's nude, it's easier to find. My old one was black, so in here I have all my makeup and it has like a little zipper where I put like my eyeliner and lip stuff. I really like it and it opens like really wide and then it's like just very, very nice and I like you can kind of squish it. So I have that in there and that's pretty much it. I have some like extra scrunchies. A perfume in the back here, Lysol, my hair clips always attached right here. At this point, I don't even use it. It's just like decor and it broke. I want security lines. That's pretty much all that I travel with. I hope that you guys enjoy this little mini vlog of me traveling and arriving to England and then also showing you guys what I pack and how I pack it. Now using this new system of the packing cubes, I'll link the packing cubes below and anything else that you guys are interested in, I will link below. I'm not going to list every single thing I mentioned because that's a lot. <laughs> like literally went through 20 tops and 10 pants and who knows how many jackets and shoes and whatnot. But if you guys are interested in a specific item, let me know and I will link it. I'll try and find the link if it's still out there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog of me traveling here. I'm really excited to be here again for the next month or so, almost two months. Yeah, let's go on this adventure together and I will be vlogging more of my days here and what I'm doing, but definitely the next vlog that's coming is day one in Milan, so watch out for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe because more videos like this are coming. Lifestyle, fashion, packing, wellness, um, all kinds of fun things and right now we're obviously in our travel phase so definitely a lot more of that coming and I don't know what I look like right now I'm just like on the bed the bed is a mess I need to go now pack for Milan and then we are going out to dinner with some friends um, in like an hour so I have to do all that in an hour wish me luck um, but I will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching bye